After FTX local bankruptcy, we all knew we have to keep our money out of the centralized exchanges. But how do we trade if we keep our money into our own wallet? And the answer is decentralized perpetual trading platforms. I already made a video about PancakeSwap Perpetual, but now it's the time for full guide of DYDX trading platforms. Like, subscribe and press the notification as I have more upcoming surprise videos. First, you have to open up DYDX website and click on trade. Then you connect your wallet to DYDX and here's a list of wallets you can connect. I'm using MetaMask for sake of this video. In order to complete the wallet connection, you have to accept terms and condition, verify your ownership of your wallet and enable trading on MetaMask. This is free and does not cost any gatly. Then the deposit page will automatically pops up. You should have USDC in your Ethereum mainnet and if you have other tokens, there is an option to swap. But I do recommend to swap them in Uniswap. Also, you can deposit fiat without any gas fee directly into DYDX for your trading. If it is your first time, minimum of 500 USDC will meet the requirement for the gasless deposit and DYDX will pay the gas. However, you still have to pay one gas fee for enabling USDC to be transferred. If it is not your first time, every three days, over 1000 USDC deposit will be gasless as well. When you stop in the transaction, you have to wait for 14 confirmations until you see your fund in the layer 2 to trade. As you can see in the overview, I have $500 available and my buying power is $10,000 considering the maximum leverage for Bitcoin and Ethereum is 20x. The next section are position, which you can see all of your open trading position, orders, fees for makers and takers fee with more details about discount, and last one is a history of your trade. Now let's get into trading. For sake of this video, I'm going to use testnet to show you how you can open a position in different ways so you learn them in action. There is no functional difference between testnet and mainnet if you want to trade. In fact, I would suggest to you to go and try the testnet for a while so you get more comfortable before transferring any funds. Also, you have to use girly testnet, not ethereum mainnet. After connecting your wallet to the testnet and enable trading, DYDX will give you an option to deposit $2000 to work with the testnet. Into the trade tab, you can choose which currency you would like to trade by clicking all markets. There are over 35 crypto you can trade perpetual as you can see on the list. Next you can see the tabs for deposit and withdraw. DYDX will give you two options for the fast or slow withdrawal which both has pros and cons. If you are an experienced trader, you should be comfortable to work with the different types of order. Limit, market, stop limit, stop market, trailing stop, take profit limit and take profit market. Let's get into the limit order. First, you choose if you would like to open a buy or sell order. Then the amount of order either by the coin size or the USD size. And lastly, the price you would like to open the position. You can see the active orders in the order tab. Next one is the market order, which you choose the size of the order or you choose the leverage of the trade and the order automatically take the best possible market price. In advanced setting, you can choose reduce only to only reduce from the active order you have rather than open another trade. Also, you have an advantage to choose your take profit and stop loss in market order, which I'm not entirely sure why this feature does not exist in a limit order. Let me mention the advanced setting before getting to the details of stop limit. We have fill or kill, which is the order gets filled completely or it gets cancelled. Immediate or cancel, which is an order that gets activated immediately or it gets cancelled. And the last one is a post only which you will be the maker, not the taker, and you pay less fee, but in some cases, your order does not get filled. Also, you can put time limit for your orders. Now let's talk about the stop limit with an example. Currently, price of Bitcoin is roughly 16,800, and I expect if the price reaches 17,000 and then drops to 14,000, it will be a good price to buy. I put my trigger point at 17,000 and limit order at 14,000, which means if the price reaches 14,000 before touching 17,000, it does not activate my order. Stop market order is the same as a stop limit, but an order will be executed upon reaching trigger point with the market price. Next one on the list is a trading stop, which you choose a volume and you put your stop loss as a percentage. The next two are simple, take profit limit and take profit market, which are a trigger point if you're either on a limit price or a market price, you are fully or partially close your position with a profit. You have to remember that the reduce only tick should be on. On portfolio tab, you can find some information such as your portfolio, open position, DYDX trading volume, and etc. 
by trading at DYDX, you get DYDX token rewarded and you can see it in the reward tab. The next tab is your profile with all information about your earnings. On competition tab, you can see the top traders on DYDX platform and how much they have traded. And the governance is outside of the scope of this video as it is focused on trading part. All right, after we learn how we use the DYDX on a desktop uh, in order to trade, now we download the iOS application in order to learn it as well because sometimes it is uh, much more convenient to trade on a phone. So after we download, we're going to this uh, press on the right bottom side, you press on a connect, which you can see on the bottom, on the top right side and you just say get started you have multiple options i would suggest to synchronize with the desktop we already explained how you're going to connect your metamask on your laptop desktop and then connect to the deploy dx and then you're going to connect that one with the desktop application then you press the desktop okay i've got it and then you have to scan your QR, uh, the qr code which i'm going to show you where to find it after you scan we'll be right back to see how we're going to trade as well All right, I scan it. As you can see, it shows that I have the $500. The first one is my portfolio. It shows my position, my orders, the fill and funding. The second tab, it's all of the markets that I can choose. And if I want to choose, for example, the Bitcoin, I press on Bitcoin and then I swipe it up in order to do the trade. We already learned about limit market, stop market and the rest of it. So it's basically the same, nothing different that I explained on the video for the, how to use it on desktop. It is basically the same as well in here. Uh, this one, the middle one is for the trading as well. And that, this one for the alerts, it just gives you alerts about the news, alert for trading or something. It will show it in here. You can manage it by if what sort of alerts you want to receive from your account, from your trading. Uh, so you can manage it in here. And also from the bottom right side, it's all uh, information about your trading, about the fees, the rewards, the leaderboards, everything that, it, that you, you could possibly find it on the website. You can find it in here as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know if you will choose DYDX to trade or not.